I first met Wei Ling in my studio for a different purpose that I I was actually being much on the observer she visited the studio for other purpose and being as a woman artist or artist in the country I you know I was always curious and full of excitement to meet different people and the engagement with different people that bring and reach my experience but the journey with Wei Ling was fantastic as she gave me the first impression as a lady who's very energetic she's also you know she appeared in front of me elegantly she's beautiful you know uh, with great figure and she to me she's full of artistic you know the the the, the way she carry herself and that artistic gesture also bring with the energy of you know the creating uh, um, momentum so that passion as she caught me and the passion mainly because uh, she she also have you know through the conversation with her she also having a lot uh, about her personal view and her personal interest and you know her, her, her personal desire wanting to engage with people and through the artistic activity so um, later then I know her she's also a hard-working person she's really working hard and disciplined in her life and she also never say much uh, you know throughout this 20 year journey uh, with her in my artistic development she has never say no to everything that I would like to take uh, into for my experimentation or in, in my art practice she wait and she even give me time for so long that I've never even do any art solo and she gave me the time to grow and that's important. Okay, uh, 20 years for being an artist, uh, the journey I've gone through is not too short but it's not long also. Uh, till now, you know, looking back, I was brought up in a, to be a very care concerned person from my family background. And then I was taught to be a good helper for many in the family. So, and a discipline that was uh, trained from home to school and, and to the artistic practice. So, this whole journey is actually uh, going through with my gallery and it's full of possibility and the journey empower me in what sense basically I feel there is there's expanding over my parameter you know artistic parameter that I could take on to and it's also set out to make something something different you know each chat that I have with my other dealer and she she's my mentor in some way but she not only involved in my art, she gave me a lot of encouragement, she gave me time to grow. That artistic journey, uh, room or space to develop as an individual is very important. Besides the economic part of you know, how art will promote to the market and, uh, and art establishment in the market, but we have a lot of dialogues and, and I have a lot of dialogue in my, in my studio with myself. It bring a lot of conversation each time when we depart from the chat. It was an exciting moment, you know, right after that, I immediately had this high imagination that I want to take on to something. So this 20 years, I engage a lot more, you know, to be an artist, I always believe I must to be honest as possible. Now, to be an artist uh, is a self-seeking journey. Um, if I would try to be as much as possible to be honest as possible to myself as well as to the others as my this faithful journey also um, to expand myself and to know myself is certainly I have to engage you know with, with the world and art has become a platform for me to engage myself and safely landed on each moment and each process of life and be proud and be humble towards it so the 20 year artistic journey has given birth not only my artwork but mainly myself as an individual and what is my purpose for 
for existing in this journey and how can I actually bring further this journey to benefit and leave a good legacy for the others.